And I was going to say, you're always going to, you, you may not talk about him the whole race, and then all of a sudden you'll, 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 you'll just, you're like, oh, Reedy just snuck in the seventh. He wasn't even in the top ten. Yeah. Where'd that come from? But he makes the most of every situation. It looks like Stewart is starting to get the momentum going now after uh, that uh, crash. Starting to roll. Ah, couldn't get around the lap rider, though, losing some ground on Reed. Here's the Chad kind of Chad overjumped that that tunnel jump coming on the start straight, so he ran it really wide. And it looks like the, when you run really wide towards the mechanics area, the the soil's deeper there, so you don't get as much drive up the hill. But Stewart tried to make it stick, and he's got it. Wow! Had to funnel back into that inside main line, but yeah. able just to charge deeper, and it, it also coming in at a better angle. He didn't have to slow up as much. We call that road racing lines. That's why they do it. Open uh, okay. the track up. Oh, all right. Hitting his apexes yes. very well. Yes. So now Stewart try to move forward from here. That's ninth. Andrew Short on the BTOsports.com. KTM is further up the track. He is an eighth, but it's about four seconds in front of Stewart. So the bad news for James is...